Dell is hoping to turn some heads with its monitors at CES. Its new 27 Ultra Thin, for example, has one of the skinniest display profiles I've ever seen. That's because Dell moved its heftier internals to its base, which almost makes it look like an all-in-one machine. It sports a Quad HD resolution and it can display up to 99% of the sRGB color gamut. Dell is also marketing it as an HDR monitor, though it doesn't quite reach home theater standards. Still, it looks incredible, and that's what most PC users will likely care about. Colors look richer and more vibrant than similarly sized monitors. It features USB-C with power support, an HDMI 2.0 connection, and audio line out. You can grab the 27 Ultra Thin on March 23rd for $700. There's also the new Dell 24 Touch Monitor, which has a stand that articulates up and down like Microsoft Surface Studio. It's only a 24-inch 1080p screen, but its touch capability could be useful to Windows 10 users who've grown used to touching their laptop screens. It'll be available on January 12th for $400. Dell also has a 32-inch 8K display this year, which looks incredible, but it is really only meant for true professionals. As you'd expect, it fully supports all the major color gamut standards, and it reaches 98% of DCI-P3 and 80% of Rec 2020. If you don't know what those things are, this monitor really isn't for you. It'll cost you $5,000 when it's released on March 23rd. Perhaps the most surprising thing Dell announced at CES is the Canvas, a 27-inch Quad HD display that's meant to take on artist-focused devices from Wacom. Any other year, the canvas might seem like a baffling decision for Dell, but it makes a lot more sense now that we've seen Microsoft Surface Studio. It's meant to be a large workspace for artists that sits right in front of another monitor. It supports up to 20 points of touch, 100% of Adobe's RGB color gamut, and naturally their stylus support. Dell is also packing an accessory it's calling a totem, a circular dial that resembles the Surface dial. In fact, it's tapping into the same APIs Microsoft created for the Studio, and you'll be able to use the Surface dial on the canvas if you've got one. It looks a bit unwieldy, but those bezels are actually important. Dell reps say that artists prefer having more room around the sides of their drawing surfaces so they can work more effectively on the edges of the display. The canvas is certainly interesting, and it's a clear sign that Dell isn't afraid to try new things to keep desktops relevant. It'll be available on March 30th for $2,000.